How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the location of all the collectibles in Rock Bottom for the Spongebob remake. The first collectible we can find in this level is going to be the first of the paintings, which can be found immediately in front of us as soon as we start the level, sitting on top of this rock. Now after we cross the falling bridge and continue just a little bit further into the level, we're going to get to this little bit of an open area in front of the big museum sign. Try to remember this spot just here as a bit of a reference to make it easier to navigate around the map later on in this video. From here we want to take a left and our next priority is going to be activating the four switches to drop down the grappling hooks from above which are going to be used a little bit later on by Sandy. The first one as we can see is going to be in this column here behind this explosive box. The second one can be found very close by over here to the left just behind the machine making all the robots. Once we've activated both of those head over here and to our right we'll be able to see a third switch. Activate that one and then being careful not to get hit by these robots up here, we're going to activate the fourth and final switch at the far end. Now that we've activated all four of these switches, drop down to the right here and there's going to be a hidden ledge down below which is going to contain the first of Patrick's socks in this level. Now the quickest solution here is simply jump off the edge and it will spawn you back where was mentioned before in front of the museum at our little hub area. Again we're going to head in the same direction we did previously where we pressed the first two switches, this time walk off the edge where we're showing you just here. And as you can see we're going to find the second of Patrick's socks and the same as before we're going to simply jump off the edge to make it quicker and spawn back up at our little hub area in front of the museum. Now thanks to the switches we pressed before, the gate will be open so we can destroy the duplicator tron which is creating all these robots. So destroy that and then smash down onto the button, then use the ball ability to get round there before the gate closes again. And if you continue round the pathway we've shown you here in the gameplay video in the background, you'll eventually get to this area where the hot sauce is, then we'll jump up to the top where there's going to be a bus station. Use this bus station to switch characters over to Sandy. Now we're finally going to be able to make use of those grappling points we dropped down by pressing all the switches earlier on. So following the pathway shown here in the video, use Sandy to grappling hook across to the rock here which is almost immediately in front of the museum entrance as well, and up here we can find the next of Patrick socks. Look down to the plateau immediately in front of us and jump down here to be able to pick up the second of the paintings. Just to the left of these paintings, on the back end of this rock there's going to be another hidden switch we can press, so go ahead and press that. This will make it so the grappling point in front of us will start spinning around, which we can take advantage of to jump on, hook on, and then go around with the grappling point and then drop off the other side to pick up the first of the golden spatulas in this level. Now for the second golden spatula we're going to return back to our little hub area which is really really close by, simply go up this pathway to our right and we should be back in front of the museum. Here press the switch on the wall and this will make another one of these grappling points appear, use this to get up to the entrance to the museum where we can find the second of the golden spatulas. Okay so now we're inside the museum, the fourth sock can be found immediately below the platform where we first enter the museum, however first we'll need to deactivate the lasers all across the floor, to do so simply press all the switches along the sides of these walls while being careful by the lasers of the robots. Once we've deactivated the lasers, simply jump down and grab this sock. After we've picked up this collectible, walk along the bottom floor until we get to the other side of the museum. Here there's going to be a switch on the right hand side we want to press, and once we press that start climbing up the seesaws. On one of these seesaws we'll be able to find the third painting. And jump over the lasers to drop down the other side. Here there's going to be a couple more switches we need to press. Jump across to the balcony at the far end of the room here and we'll also be able to get the next of the golden spatulas. Now fast forward in just a tiny little bit, if we continue climbing up the museum as we usually would to progress through the level, we'll eventually get to this section here where we need to jump across these swinging sort of tires. So immediately as soon as we jump on this first one, we want to look to our left and jump back on ourselves and here we'll be able to find the next sock. 
And now if we look across to the direction we're heading over here to our right on the opposite balcony, we'll be able to find the sixth sock also. And yet again, very close by to the previous collectible, if we head out here as if we're heading towards the exit of the museum, we'll be able to find the fourth painting. Now we're heading into the Trench of Advanced Darkness. As soon as we get into this area, we're going to start going down a slide. Once we get to the bottom of the slide, the first thing we'll come across is going to be a bus stop. So here, make sure we are using Spongebob, and then continue walking forwards down the stagmites that will fall down. And at the bottom, we'll find the next sock behind the machine. Hey, you. Patrick, also down here, we're going to find another button, which we need to ground stomp on with Spongebob. To activate one of the gates, again, use the ball ability to make sure we get there before the gate closes. This will allow us to get to the upper level, where we can find a second bus stop. While we're still using Spongebob, head to the right of this second bus station and pay the clam. This will activate the bungee jump point where we can jump down and get another one of Patrick's socks. Use the second bus stop to switch over to Sandy and jump across immediately in front of us. Drop down to the bottom and here we'll find another one of the socks. Just beside this sock we'll also find a button which we want to make sure we press and this is going to lower down another grapple point a little bit further back just above the first bus station. So now we've done that backtrack to the second bus station and continue backtracking just a tiny bit more. Here we can use the grapple point to jump across to the other plateau to our right and here we're going to find the fifth of the paintings. And now by using the grapple point we just dropped down a second ago by pressing the button, we can jump across and get the fourth golden spatula. The next thing we need to do is press the buttons on the side of all three of the lasers to activate all three of them. And while we're doing this, we'll find the sixth and final painting right next to the middle laser. Now after we have activated all three of the lasers, walk back to the second bus stop and talk to Plankton and he will reward us with another golden spatula. Backtrack a tiny bit from the second bus station and head to the left to access the new pathway opened by the lasers to head out of this area. And just before we exit the area, we'll find the sixth of the golden spatulas. This one is literally unmissable, you'll see it, it's right in the way. For the seventh golden spatula, press down on the button just before we start going down the slide, and this will make a golden spatula spawn at the bottom. We'll need to get there before the timer runs out to make sure we pick it up before it disappears. If we don't get it, we need to go back to the top and try again until we finally get down there in time. And now for the eighth and final golden spatula, now that we have all six of the paintings, we want to go back and talk to Mrs. Puff at the beginning of the level, and she will give us the final golden spatula. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget that thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.